हेलो माय स्टूडेंट दिस इज शांतनु वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन येस्टरडे आई स्टार्टेड माय सीरीज ऑन सिनोनिम्स फॉर द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम ऑफ एवरी काइंड सो दिस इज सिनोनिम सीरीज पार्ट टू कैंड यू ब्राउज थ्रू द प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ माय चैनल कॉम्पिटिटिव इंग्लिश यू विल फाइंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सीरीज फॉर द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम so keep watching my videos regularly subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the notification bell icon for more such video now without wasting any more time let's get started kali keep your focus on the board so here against one word four options are given you need to select the correctly synonymous word or you can say you have to select the proper word the first word is superficial it means not at all deep proud shallow shallow means not at all deep splendid means very beautiful enthral means fascinate enthral suggest fascinate f a s c i n a t e on the country splendid suggest very beautiful proud no introduction needed for this shallow suggest not at all deep therefore superficial also suggest not at all deep therefore the perfect synonym for the word shallow is superficial neither splendid nor enthral Now, admonish. Admonist means make someone alert or alert someone. Lay by means set something for the future. It's a phrasal verb or idiom. You can say not idiom. You can say group verb. Criticize means you can say throw mud over someone's name or reputation. Procure means accumulate or amass or collect. Accumulate or amass or collect. On the other hand, caution means admonish or alert. Caution means admonish or alert. Therefore, this is the perfect synonym. It suggests collect. Another synonym for the word criticize. You can say stricture. all the criticize is a verb form stricture is a noun form but the meaning is same tedious prosaic means not at all interesting or dull or insipid tiresome means very exhausting stimulating means invigorating or encouraging or inspiring Dejecting means disappointing or frustrating. Dejecting means disappointing or frustrating. Stimulating means encouraging or inspiring. Tiresome means exciting. Prosaic means dull or insipid or jaded. Now, what's the meaning of tedious? Tedious means not at all interesting. Therefore, it should be dull or something like that. Out of the given option, prosaic suggests tedious or dull. So it means dull. It means not at all interesting, or you can say uninteresting. Now go next. Salient. Pleasing. You all know the meaning of pleasing. conflict means debating salted means tasteless no taste ha having no taste at all on the other hand very significant means very important salient means very important we often say salient features or very important features or very significant features so neither pleasing nor conflicting nor salted means the same but very significant And salient both are equal. Salted suggest, salted suggest, tasteless. 
Now look through the overall class. The first question is superficial, means not at all deep. The answer is shallow. Splendid means very beautiful, exquisite. Enthral means fascinate or enamored. E N A M O U R. You can say enamored. Another synonym for the word is enamored. E N A M O U R. Now go next. Admonish, admonish, suggest, alert or caution. Criticize, spreading, stricture. Procure means collect or amass or accumulate. Something like that. Lay by means store something for the future or you can say put by. Here the answer is caution. Tedious, suggest, not at all interesting, dull or insipid or jaded. Stimulating means enlivening or you can say invigorating or encouraging. Dejecting means frustrating or disappointing. Now go next. Salient means very important. Here the answer is very significant. Salt is already written. Salted means tasteless. Conflicting means debating or very controversial or you can say very arguable. Pleasing means you all know the pleasing personality. Very satisfying personality. So this is my short class for the rest so far as synonyms are concerned. If you are unable to understand any part of this class or any analysis of the class, you can easily drop your comments in the comment box section. Can you keep waiting for my next class. Till then, have a very good day.